from the marina named after Ernest Hemingway, a fellow American has embarked on a challenge using this board. On it, Ben Freeberg is trying to paddle from here in Cuba across the Florida Straits to America. Several swimmers have already tried the alluring route but failed, so maybe this could set a new trend. It's a, a board that you will stand on. I will stand the entire time that I paddle. The, the paddle may take 20 hours and it may take me many more. It depends upon the challenges that we meet along the way. See you soon. His father, who'll travel alongside in a boat, does have one slight concern. When he was in, in uh, Hawaii uh, a few months ago, he was out by himself and a big shark came up and, and went with him for about an hour. And his legs were shaking. He didn't know what to do with that shark. But there again, we have staff and help, so that'll, that'll, we'll, we'll try to keep the sharks away. Most of all, though, this is about endurance, standing all the way and keeping paddling. Ben is no stranger to extreme sport. He set the record for the longest ever stand-up paddle in one day at almost 400 kilometers. But this is his first big trip on the open sea. For the moment, the conditions for this journey do seem ideal. The wind is low, the water looks placid. But it is the currents here that are critical. If this young paddler catches a good one, he could ride it all the way to Florida, catch a bad one, and he'll be carried right off course. So, as well as the backup boat, there's a weather team in Florida and navigators in constant contact on a satellite phone, trying to help plot the best route through the Gulf Stream. In the end, though, it is down to one man and his board against the elements. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Havana.